Hey YouTube, this is the How to Decorate podcast and we're recording an extra little segment for YouTube that we're recording after we just talked for a whole hour on the podcast. So if you want to see our full episode, you can go listen to that at any of your favorite podcast apps, the How to Decorate podcast with a pink chair. Our guest today is Sandy Mozzie and we're asking her all about paint. We requested, um, we put up a little question box on Instagram. Y'all sent in your questions. So we're just gonna fire away. Fire away. And <laughs> you give us your, you know, your, your first instinct. Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. How to choose bold color for narrow for a narrow small dining room. How to choose bold color for yes. a narrow small dining room. I mean, honestly, if it's a small space, just go bold. <laughs> yeah. Go dramatic. Um, I would just make sure you're, if it's a pink color, you're doing it in a sheen that kind of reflects light. Um, and then maybe because you said it's a narrow dining room, mm -hmm. Maybe you want to consider um, painting the ceiling. So if you're just painting a bold color on the walls and then your ceiling is white, it might make the room feel taller. And with a narrow room, that's probably not what you want. So maybe okay. paint the ceiling as well, or you know, wallpaper it maybe even. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say go big. Yeah. yeah. A dining room is a perfect place to do that. The dining room is perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 What, um, you know, like she didn't really give us any suggestions in terms of like, does she want blue? Does she want green? Yeah. Do you feel like there are good kind of classic dark colors? Well, that you would suggest? blue is my happy color. So I would always <laughs> recommend blue. <laughs> yeah. But green is also having a moment. So yeah. dark green is also, you know, a, a good color right now yeah have you used any dark blues that are your favorites um i haven't in a while so i can't tell you the names right okay. now but yeah and like besides, a dark navy you know if you listen to the full podcast <laughs> episode we go on a whole diatribe about you have to swatch so yes yes even if you're <laughs> always, you paint always swatch yes <laughs> okay all right the next one is how to make a different color flow from an open concept kitchen to dining room to a family room if it's all visible? Um, I would say you want to keep it probably in the same... Um, you just want to make sure all the spaces vibe together. So it doesn't have to be the same color, um, but you know maybe consider it being the same tonal family. Um, Especially mm -hmm. if you're wanting like the dining room to be more like dramatic versus a more neutral palette in the kitchen, you just want to make sure um, they kind of are in the same tonal family and then they vibe well together. So you don't want to be walking from one space to the next and feeling like it's fragmented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, could you use that? You know, they talk about that rule, like use a color three times mm -hmm. within a room and maybe that's could help you create flow. Like, um, if you did a blue in your dining room and like yeah. had some blue on your island in your kitchen or mm -hmm. and then like do blue pillows in your family or something to like connect the colors. I don't yeah, know. you could do that. Yeah. Like you can kind of pick up the colors in different uh, varying degrees throughout the spaces. Um, that could be a good way to kind of bring in color without overwhelming all of it, mm -hmm. especially being open concept. Yeah. What is your favorite dark brown color? I'm thinking of painting a rec room. Gosh, brown is not my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, to me, I veer towards more black. So mm -hmm. to me, like a brown that's less of a red and more of a black mm -hmm. is a good, rich color. Mm -hmm. um, you just want to make sure it has that richness that you want and not yeah. come off as kind of a, a sad brown or a yeah. tinchy brown, yeah. you know? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> or like true. muddy brown, you know? I feel like a mid-tone brown could be weird in... Yeah, you don't want it to be muddy because brown can be tricky as a color. Like, mm -hmm. you know, as, if it's not like, what you know, finishes, mm -hmm. brown as a color could be a little tricky. Um, so. Do you know the color uh, Urbane Bronze? Yes. 
I love that. I feel like that's a good brown. Too. Yes. I love that brown. That's the only brown I can think of. But <laughs> or well, iron ore is like oh, almost yeah. a black, but it's kind of that bronzy mm-hmm. color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty so that's one. also a good color. Yeah. 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 Should I paint all of my interior doors black? There's no images, so <laughs> do you want to? <laughs> um, it depends on the context. Um, what mm-hmm. color is your house? What color is your furniture? What's is your what's the style of your house? So mm-hmm. it's a hard question to ask or a hard question to answer without knowing the context. Yeah, it seems like it's hard I'm to say be- no just out of a safe space. <laughs> like I feel yeah. like the answer is no. Because also, are you going to paint both sides of the door of all the doors black? Yeah. In some rooms, it might look fine. In other rooms, it might look weird. I mean. A- you know, I, I I did a condo probably like two years ago that we painted all the doors a very dark gray, and that worked because the, ha- the it was a very modern style and mm-hmm. it worked for the house. So it you know really just it depends depends. But black black is a very strong color, and so um, you know, is there a reason you were wanting to paint it with black? Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah. what is the context of you know yeah of, the, of that yeah yeah. Oh wait, did you do I just went, I just Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> um is just doing a back wall in a bold color still acceptable? Like, you know, your accent wall, mm. if you will. Uh I'm not a big proponent of one accent wall because I feel like that doesn't give you the impact that you're normally looking for. Um I mm-hmm. always recommend usually at least two walls in a room. Um sometimes more just to give it enough of that Mm -hmm. um, impact um but it really depends on the room if it's like a nook then yes that could look really nice to just have one wall or if it's an oddly shape where it's like a short smaller wall sometimes that works but um i would say See if you can do more walls in that color. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you're... Okay. This is always my question. If you're looking for bold, mm-hmm. then why just do one wall? Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's not really that bold. I don't know. Yeah. And and accent walls, I feel like, could make a room feel fragmented because mm-hmm. you're just, you know, that just piecemeal. Um, yeah. So I, I like to kind of carry that either paint or wallpaper to mm-hmm. more walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When, when there are a lot of ways to make a focal point. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. A big piece of art, right. Incredible drapery. Right. I don't know. A colorful chair. I don't know. There are a million mm-hmm. ways. Yes. And even, so. even if you wallpaper three wall, three walls of a bedroom, the, the bed, the headboard, the, mm-hmm. you know, the, mm-hmm. the bedding could all draw your eye still to that first, you know, that wall mm-hmm. first. Right. But, you know, you're covering more of that mm-hmm. room. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what paint would look good in north-facing bedroom? Currently reflects green foliage through mm-hmm. large windows. I want something that won't clash with the summer greens. That's a, that's a very good question. It's a hard one. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say you're probably needing to look at neutrals probably with like a grayer like a grayer undertone and you can probably consider but then you know summer full that's seasonal so you don't want you know Mm -hmm. something to look great during the summer and not look good other times of the year so I think you know something that's kind of you know, grayer probably, and you probably want a, just a small hint of red in it to kind of um, tone down the green. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah. North facing yeah. is normally more gray, more blue light. What is like, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. North facing, to me, east and west are the most direct, and so north facing okay. I don't feel like is as 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 mm-hmm. dramatic or okay. extreme. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she should just really appreciate her gorgeous foliage. <laughs> <laughs> you know what always looks good with green blue. That's true too. Like blue always have. looks really pretty. I don't know with green. Like maybe choose a complementary color to green. I don't know. Well, that's red. 
So oh, the, the combo, on the, yes, on the, yeah, on the um, color wheel. analogous. Color. Right. So you're yeah. like, if you want to tone down the green, right? Yeah, yeah. So you get a little, little red, red yeah. undertone. Yeah. A little red right. undertone. But then you don't want something to come off pink in the winter. Yeah, yeah. So, so you got a great point. So yeah. then, yeah. Ooh. Okay, that's a good question. Actually, <clears throat> what what about when when you are swatching your room and the season that it's in? Mm-hmm. You just, I guess, there's really not much you can do about it. But do you feel like it's going to change a lot from season to season? I don't think as much, unless it's like high pollen season. But okay, you know, yeah. Even right. then. I think it would depend how much yeah, how much greenery is around you versus city living versus yeah. 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 For open concept spaces, how do you decide when to start and stop paint? Oh yeah, this is a hard one. So um yeah, what's a, what's a good break within the room where you stop the paint? It, well, so it you know, it could be really tricky. So mm-hmm. paint if you're doing a, a like a bowl, you know, wanting some room to be a different color, like it's always where to stop and start is always the question. Um, you know, obviously you can always end it at doorways, um, and you know, kind of where the wall ends. Or I would say, think of using color to define the different spaces that mm-hmm. you're 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 wanting to define and have that as a way of stopping your um, paint color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That um, one's yeah, hard. That one's hard. I mean, that one's hard. That see it. In yeah. my house, we have, when you come into the front door, there's a stairwell, and then up the, a short set of stairs, you see our um, sitting room. So it's that in my portfolio, it's this blue sitting room with cushions all around it. Mm-hmm. And we painted that room blue, but it, it, if I continue the blue, it would just go into our stairwell, which then runs into downstairs. And then, you know, you can't There's stop no the blue. Stopping. There's no yeah. stopping point. So you won't believe this, but we basically, cause we have stair railings that, you know, where the room it, you know, starts and ends. Uh-huh. So we literally painted a very, very straight line up to the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, okay. And surprisingly, it works. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. You basically just created a... We a created, uh, yeah, a, a, a definition. And I've done that with... Actually, I've done that with a client of mine where they were wallpapering a dining room and also it was open to the stairwell. Mm-hmm. And what we did was we actually, at the stair railing, we put a piece of trim mm-hmm. and have that end the yes, wallpaper yeah. yeah and then have you know have that be the delineation because mm-hmm. it, there, there wasn't one it yeah. was just open yeah yeah that does seem to be a great question if you are building yeah because that's when you can like dictate dictate <laughs> where a cased opening has like yes. an actual casement and then it's yes. easier to break rooms into colors yes um i don't know if yeah, if that was something trim, you consider, trim I think is a trick for sure. Trim is the a way trick. they trim ends yes. sometimes can allow you to make a break. Yeah, and it could just be a very small piece mm-hmm. that you just paint a neutral color of the wall, and then mm-hmm. that could be the end of a, a bold color or a wallpaper mm-hmm. um, to kind of cap it. Mm-hmm. Right, um, but. You know, painting a very straight line can sometimes be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt. Depending yeah. on yeah, there you go. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Those are all our questions. Okay. That was great. It's tr- pain is tricky. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for that help. Yes. Yeah, no and you should all listen to the full episode <laughs> with Sandy because we covered, I think, almost everything you can think of with paint. We talked about finishes. We talked about color. Mm-hmm. We talked about samples. We covered it all. So yeah. be sure to listen to the whole episode in your favorite podcast app. Thanks, Sandy. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>